Hello Splunkers, today we're going to cover what happens when you start sending your data into Splunk using the Home Monitor app. So in this scenario we're going to leverage our lovely Fios modem, in this case it's called, the DNS name is fios.myhost.com, and we've already started sending our data via UDP 514 into our Splunk server. When that data first comes in, if we do nothing, it'll automatically source type that data as syslog. And it also tag the, the host name as fios.myhost.com. Now, behind the scenes, what Splunk is going to do is it's going to look for this particular syslog in myprops.com. And we see here we have an entry for syslog. So the first thing I have it do is I have it call out to a transforms file to change the source type. So if we look in our transforms file, we'll first try to do a search and see if we can match via regular expression the host name. Since I conveniently named my modem fios.myhost.com, it'll key off on that fios piece. And it'll know to then change based on the host file, the source type to Fios. So the destination key being the source type now is replaced to Fios. In doing so, we come back to the props.conf file and we'll look for the Fios stanza. This Fios stanza allows us to now do an extraction of my data. So it'll get the direction, the protocol, action, so on and so forth. Down here we have these lookup tables. And these lookup tables primarily are to normalize some of the data. In this case we're going to normalize the actions so that you have block and accept and some routers it's uh, allow and deny. I just want it to be block and accept so it makes building these dashboards a lot easier. And secondly I have a built-in component which is a DNS lookup and it's going to look up all my destination IP addresses and then give me a brand new uh, field called reverse DNS host. So now I can have that in my log files. So that's cut and dry what happens in the background. Uh, what I've tried to do is make this process a little easier by allowing you to specify which source type you're going to leverage whether it's ACES, Fios, Linksys, etc. Uh, this is just a kind of easy way to understand what's happening around in the background. Thanks.